you. Yep. All right, today detectives from Task Force Southern have attended the Broughton Valley Road just south of Spalding to conduct a search of the Hutt River for evidence relating to the murder of Robert Atkins. We know at about 3.45 on Wednesday the 22nd of June this year that uh, a couple were seen uh, just near the bridge where we are acting suspiciously when a truck went past. It appears they became spooked on seeing the truck and left the area immediately and then returned a few minutes later when they thought there was nobody in the area and nobody left to see them. We know that they got out of the vehicle and they disposed of what we believe to be ammunition and also a firearm which we suspect may have been used in the murder of Robert. A man subsequently attended the next day and had a look around the area where the people had been and recovered some bullets and also some packaging for Winchester 38 calibre pistol bullets. Today we've attended with 37 people from major crime, from star group, from local police and traffic and we'll be conducting an extensive search here and using water operations team who have done an initial search this morning um, combing the bottom of the river here and also going through the reeds looking for either ammunition and or the firearm. Um, this afternoon they will uh, use all of their underwater equipment and they'll redo that area and they'll be going through every square inch of the bottom of the river feeling with their hands to recover what we're looking for. There's also another area that's being searched nearby, a roadway, and in short we'll be doing the roadway between here and Spalding and then from Spalding to Bugarawi, again looking for more evidentiary material. The, the people who have done this, we believe, are assisting the killer of Robert Atkins to dispose of evidence, which is obviously a very serious offence, and people who want to help people and cover up crimes or dispose of evidence face le very lengthy terms of imprisonment. I'm very optimistic that as a result of this development that we may have a witness who may be able to identify the couple and certainly the vehicle, but there is a very strong possibility that we will recover um, DNA from the bullets um, or the packaging and fingerprints. Um, we have prior to the day been handled, handed around 80 bullets and we've recovered a large amount of bullets already from the search today. So the search will continue um, and as I say I expect a good outcome here today. Also on the 12th of July uh, we had Northern Territory Police execute a raid for us at Boralula, about 2,800 kilometres away in the Northern Territory, in the Gulf region, and they recovered a $50,000 excavator and also a trailer that we believe was stolen by those involved in the murder of Robert. That was taken from Meadows in 2019, and a 37-year-old man who is known to the offender in this matter has been interviewed and it's likely he will be charged in the near future. We're conducting further inquiries in relation to the uh, theft of that excavator, the trailer and also a vehicle that was stolen at the time. That vehicle has subsequently been recovered and it's likely uh, that we will be charging other people in South Australia with that theft. I'm happy to take your questions. That car that you've recovered uh, previously you've said that um, Mr Atkins may have been driven in the car. So no, this car has nothing to do with that. Do with that? No. The, when the couple came back, was it a second truck driver that saw them the second time? How do we know that they came back? I won't say anything about that, but we know that they left for a very short time and then returned when they thought the coast was clear and continued to dispose of the evidence. Is it believe these people just... are from the area? Uh, they're definitely from the mid-north. Is there any form of description about the um, couple themselves? The description of the car at the time was only a, a dark coloured sedan, but we're fairly confident we know who the people are from the description of those people and of the vehicle. Have you been able to speak to them yet or would you be wishing for them to come forward if they... We'll be having an interview with them in the near future. The firearm 
that you're looking for, do you believe that could be a, a possible murder weapon? Yes. And why? Uh, I won't go into why, but we, we are confident that Robert was taken uh, to the area near Oruru and we believe that he was taken into the scrub where he was executed. Has there been any further developments in terms of um, searches at all in relation to Robert's body itself? Yes, we've been back to that general area several times. We've searched some small distinct parcels of land and we've also searched uh, wells and um, there was an area of land where uh, uh, one of the property owners had seen some disturbance at around about the time of Robert's death, but we've excluded that area. So where does that sort of leave you in terms of the, um, the recovery or, or hope to recover his body itself? Yeah, we, we haven't lost our enthusiasm for finding Robert's body. We're still very committed to that. Um, it's reduced the area left to search and we're waiting on some more inquiries to be complete and we definitely will be going back to search other areas. How crucial is the evidence here that you've found already? This is really important. Um, if you just play the percentages, we will have somewhere between well over 100 um, bullets and we'll have packaging and we expect that out of all of that, we should be able to recover DNA and or fingerprints on the packaging, which will link to the identity of the people that got rid of it. Would you be expecting that charges would be likely for the people that um, were potentially assisting in this murder? Certainly, to, to assist offenders, either before, during or after a murder, is a very serious offence and those people should expect to go to prison. Is now the time for them to tell you what they know? I, I would suggest to those people, if they wanted to come forward and tell us what they did and assist us, it would be better now. The alternative, the alternative for them is not so good. All right, thank you. Thank you.